The Machine Field by Jennifer Zilm. So it the poems are divided into three parts. So some are a few pages and like recently the poetry that I've like been requ requesting to read are more like story like than and rather than here's a few lines and that's the poem and then move on but these poems are more story like and a more like a story like but a story within that poem <laughs> poem like story set up to port poetry instead of like music or something so like each story it's like an encounter or like inspired by other works or whatever she has decided to put the poem about. So it's not a long book. You're looking at a hundred, under a hundred pages and like to me, a lot of the poetry books that I've been reading recently are under 100 pages. And I guess that can be said for a lot of poetry books that are, that have been published. Yeah, pretty sure there are some like books and like collections or whatever that are over that, but usually <laughs> there are, a lot of the times it's under a hundred pages so like some are like a news article others are like a section of a textbook of but like something that has happened and so it's just stories and encounters and inspirations of like stuff that she has like been a part of or inspired by in Vancouver yeah so you get a little snippet of what like was around her or is around her at the type of time of writing these in Vancouver which is cool <laughs> but yeah it's just you're getting pretty lengthy poetry and you're not getting like happy-go-lucky poetry for a lot of it. A lot of it is here's some shit. <laughs> but it, there is, it is good poetry. Like to me anyway. Yeah, you're like, I, sometimes you're like, okay, when is this poem going to end? But the way it's written, it's nicely presented. So yeah, The Missing Field by Jennifer Sill. Happy readings.